Dora Metrics gives me the thing where I can actually take an experiment, try it, and then see how that's reflected in our data. Are you all bought into Dora Metrics? How do you take this excitement that you have for Dora Metrics and spread that to other teams? So we have some people from Sleuth in the office today. So I'm going to bring them all into the studio and we're going to talk about the value that they find in Dora Metrics to hopefully spark some ideas, kind of get you thinking about, oh yes, that would make sense in my team, or maybe that wouldn't make sense in your team, but maybe the next person's idea would. Hello. So we have Kate. Kate is our head of engineering here at Sloop. Uh, I want to hear from you what value you found in your metrics and so in particular. You have a prediction about something that's going to make your team improve. For example, if I were me and I introduced a developer on support rotation, what I would expect is these teams would be protected from context switching and be able to increase their deploy frequency. And so Dora Metrics like gives me the thing where I can actually like take an experiment, try it, and then see how that's reflected in our data. The thing that was always missing was the connection between hard data and the things that I was predicting were going to happen. What would you say to someone who's like, I'm an engineering manager, I have multiple teams, how do I apply this? You were putting on a detective hat earlier. And yes. So you can put on a scientist hat instead and like make predictions about the things that are going to improve your team health or your team's ability to deliver and see those results or not and then learn from them real time. What would you tell that dev manager who is trying to say, how do I pitch this to my devs? You have to try to figure out what problems folks are trying to solve and even the problems that they don't know that they're trying to solve, I think. Mm. And so in the case of developers, in the case of individual contributors that are team oriented, that are you know, trying to work as a collaborative team, I think the, the real, one of the real problems they're trying to solve is their bottlenecks. Is where are the bottlenecks on the team and how can we make sure that we're you know, working together to be improving and giving, you, giving each other feedback. Because that's one of the challenges, especially for distributed teams, is creating that sense of team identity and team progress and team goals. And Dora Metrics are a useful tool in that. So we had a third, another person coming in, which was Nick. So what he wanted to talk about is how Dora Metrics helps you break things down into small batches. And this is actually really fascinating. And they found that strong correlation, that when you do things in small batches, the deployment frequency, you tend to have smaller change lead times. And you also tend to have less failure rate, and you tend to have smaller mean time to recovery. From his standpoint as a senior engineer, this takes something that he feels is important to do things in small batches and puts numbers behind it so that when a team is starting to drift from it, starting to create large PRs, large bodies, big PRs that are really hard to review and hard to get through and very risky, by focusing on Dora Metrics, you're encouraging the team not to be doing those things. Deploying things small, which Dora Metrics encourages, is a great antidote to that situation. You just recently joined us as the head of customer success. What have you found to be a useful way to spread the use of door metrics in larger organizations? One of the constant themes I'm hearing is how do our teams do more with less? And a lot of our customers, they've downsized and really experienced layoffs. One in particular, um, they are a commercial appraisal firm and they lost their entire QA team. So really the way they're using Dora Metrics is let's use these to get our people on, back on track and be able to increase deployment frequency while not losing the quality of their software. We have another customer that um, is a fintech company and they're using Dora Metrics to really see how their current progress is coming along, really empowering those teams to be able to dive in on their own and be able to come to those reviews, those sprints and be able to add to that discussion rather than you know coming from a top down. Right, so the dev goes beyond just taking tasks but actually starts pushing improvements up. Exactly, and with that efficiency, they can then work on other things that are really exciting to them. I wanted to add one more point to this, uh, and that is the improvement part. So if you're thinking about metrics as just something to look at and, and then go do something else on, Think again, because any, I would argue, any decent Dora tracker is wants to go beyond just giving you data and wants to go into helping you improve that data. So Sleuth has a number of things. As I mentioned, we have a Sleuth Actions Framework. We have a number of the features that helps you actually improve your metrics. Whatever tool you're using, think about not just getting a number, but think about what steps you're going to change. So if you're 
ultimately thinking, how do I spread Dora metrics to the rest of the organization? I think you need to listen to your dev managers, listen to your other teams to hear what, what challenges they are having. And if those challenges are around visibility, if those challenges are around deployment speed and improvement, if they're around quality, perhaps Dora metrics might be a great way to help start solving that. Thank <laughs> you.